until I was going to get in the uh, passenger seat. Hey, what did you drive? <laughs> Lawns being mowed and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> Stupid pandemic. I forgot my bag. I was hoping I might have a, some Rust oleum bed liner so I can finish off the roof rack stuff, but uh, no luck, so. I have to stock up on some of that when I find another place. I think I'm looking at getting like an actual splitting axe though, because my little hatchet won't do too well for splitting wood. And I'm gonna need a shovel. What's up? I'm trying to film inside with this whole like coronavirus thing is just hard because you know wearing the mask and everything. But I got these bolts and stuff there stuff in here I got bolts and stuff because I'm gonna make this like makeshift shovel mount and stuff because I'm gonna put now that I have a roof rack I'm gonna mount like a full-size shovel on the rack and then I'm gonna put something on the other side but I haven't decided what it's gonna be yet it might be an axe but first I need to see how well this thing holds up because an axe is gonna be a lot heavier than a shovel okay so check this out now that I have a roof rack, I really want to utilize it and stuff, so I was thinking it'd be really cool if I had like a shovel mount on the side and everything. The problem is, is most of the clamps and stuff I found look really expensive, and I was trying to find something cheaper. Like I saw this whole setup and stuff, but it was like 70 bucks, and I wanted to do something a little bit cheaper than that. The other option though, was to actually make a, uh, like just take clamps or whatever, like those U-clamps, and stick that on so you had it just bolted onto your rack. The problem with that though, is if I ever needed to just pop it off really fast, I couldn't do that. I'd have to get out a wrench and loosen the bolts and slide it out, and that's too much work for me. So I found out they actually make these. It's like quick fist, whatever. These were like 10 bucks on Amazon. So these are pretty cool. You know, two day shipping, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So that's what this is right here. And then after that, I watched this video where this guy, you know, does this whole thing and I'm basically copying that idea. You buy one of these at like your local Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever and this is like a, it was in the electric section. I was looking all over for it in the hardware section, but apparently it's like an electric clamp. I guess they stick wires through that and then like bolt it to the wall or whatever. So it's got a little hole in the back here, you probably can't see it, but it's in there. And then you take that, I'm going to stick a bolt through there, stick it on like that, and then I'm going to stick this onto the rack. And it's going to be this whole thing. Okay, well, scratch that idea. So apparently, I eyeballed it, and I should have measured it, and I didn't. So I eyeballed it, and these clamps are actually too too big. Everything else about it would work, but these clamps are just not going to work. So I'm going to have to pop this off and take it back to Home Depot, which I don't feel like doing today. So I'm going to do it tomorrow. <laughs> Man, I had such high hopes for today, too. It looked really complicated. I really have no reason to be up here. I just like to come up here because I can now. And it's cool to brag about that, so. I'm a lot higher up here. Higher as in like higher elevation, not as in like I smoke weed. I only do that on the weekends. Anyway, um, I actually got the rack mounted on. I just used these U-bolts and did like a really pretty job of pushing it on here and stuff. I mean, it works and stuff. I think it worked good. And then, and then I took a, and then I took this bad boy and I just started like cutting off the bolts and stuff because I had like the the ends were like too long. So then when I put the crates on here, it wasn't working out because they would sit on those and that was just going to puncture my crates. But the good thing is now because I bolted it down, it actually bends the like top of the rack a little bit. So now it doesn't sit flat. It sits more flush with the bolts now um, versus before it was like puncturing it and that's why I had to cut them off. Might just start sitting up here to chill. Look at the view. View of the roof and stuff. 
So, so far, I've only had one person reach out to me for the Oklahoma meetup, and it's actually someone who lives in White Oak. That's like right around the corner from Longview, so we're thinking of actually doing a drive up there, so like back to back. So the plan right now is to go to Broken Bow Lake down in Oklahoma. I asked him for the details so we can set it up, and since he was the first person to reach out, I guess we're just gonna do that. If there's anyone on the other side of Oklahoma who wants to meet up that can't come to this, let me know and I'll see if I can do another meetup. If not, this is gonna be like the last chance. So right now, the plan is to meet up at this campsite in Hollymount Trail. And I'm gonna see if I can get details on that and link it in the description. And if you would like to meet up, I have the email down below or you can DM me on Instagram. I have a tag to my Instagram down below as well. So contact me if you would like to do this meetup. It'd be cool if we can get as many people as possible. And he said it's a light trail. He said it shouldn't be too bad. He's pulling a trailer with him. And then I told him that I'm gonna not be able to do too much stuff because I've got all the stuff on my Jeep and stuff. So it should be an easy trail. And then we're just gonna camp out there, you know, do whatever. I don't really have a plan. Um, I'm trying to work on it. This is all new to me. But if you would like to come with us, hit me up and we'll see what we can work out. See like when we're gonna meet up and everything. On the flip side though, a more interesting note, check it out. I got one of my shirts, one of my official shirts. So this is actually my own design. Finally got merch, if you guys saw in the last video. So, let's see if I can get a better view. This right here is my new official, official, official. This is my new official merchandise shirt. I have a couple other designs that I'm working on. I have another one up now that I think is really cool. If you looked at the previous version of my uh, merchandise, I've changed it up a bit. So this is actually a tribland shirt. And the tri-blend basically means it's very, very soft, thin material. And I was also retailing these for like $27, which is a lot for a shirt. And the reason is, is because it cost me more to make this shirt because of the material it's made out of. The original reason I picked it was specifically because in the picture it appeared that this was going to come out as kind of like a tan color. And I really wanted it to match the look of my Jeep. But I found out that it is more of a gray, if you can't tell. So I ended up completely changing all of my merch. So right now, it's a little bit different if you looked at it before. My t-shirts now are about $23.99, I believe. It's still a little pricey, but I just added a discount for September. So throughout the whole month of September, if you use the code JEEPER, capital J, lowercase E-E-P-E-R, you'll get 15% off all my merch. And if it doesn't work, tell me, because it should work. I set it up. I just changed it, so now it's going to be a different material. It's going to be a soft cotton material, but it should be nice shirts. Hopefully, I don't know. And if you go use that coupon code, it's gonna save you 15%. So I'm trying to help you guys out, and it helps me out too, because anytime you buy anything on there, I get a little money for that. So it's kind of a win-win situation. Yeah. The beat.